free and frugal. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. In today's video, I wanted to show you guys how living free and frugal really looks like Christmas edition. This is a video um, that was actually kind of recommended to me by my really good friend over at Sensible Living with Money Mom. Money Mom, you are awesome. Thanks for the recommendation and I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, as you guys know, we are very, very smart with the way we spend our money. We don't spend it if, we, if it's not important. So um, a lot of people take Christmas as an opportunity to kind of flourish and you know, do stuff. Some people spend money on like gifts and a ton of money on gifts. Um, some people spend a ton of money on maybe um, decorating the house and doing all, that, all the other things. Um, to me, I, I, I consider Christmas more of an experience as opposed to uh, a material thing. So yes, you want to give gifts, that's cool, but most often than not, people move away from your gifts better than they can move away from an experience. When you give somebody an experience, it stays with them um, a lifetime. So I here with our kids, um, our goal is not to kind of just buy them toys and toys and bunch of toys. Our goal is to give them experiences that they will remember when they grow up. Because I've never seen anybody that grew up and it was so excited about the toys that they, they had when they were kids. When you grow up, you grow up. Those toys don't mean anything. But if you grow up in an experience, you sit there and people are talking about um, experiences, how they grew up with their parents and what they did. You know, that kind of really makes you feel special. Makes you really know your parents cared about you. That's the way we see it. Maybe you, you're out there, you do it differently. You think that buying material things is uh, what the experience is. I'm not faulting you for that, but that's how we do it. So I'm gonna show you guys around um, the house right now. We have our Christmas decoration up. I'm gonna show you guys what we have from our Christmas tree to some of the other decorations that we have and what we spend on all the decorations. And uh, we'll go from there. So. Let's go around the house and check out the house. So first stop, um, let's go to our living room here. So this is our this is our main living room. I'm just gonna start over here. Um, this is my wife's uh, one of my wife's favorite decorations. Um, she got this at uh, uh, Salvation Army. I think she spent like four bucks or so for that whole thing, um, and we've had it for three years now. And every Christmas, uh, once we're done with Christmas, we take them down and put them, we have like these tote containers. We'll just take everything, put it in that tote container, um, use duct tape and make sure it's secure. And then we put it, uh, we have like an attic uh, in the house. We just put it there um, until next December, which is awesome. And that, we, when we take it out, it's, it looks clean and ready to go. And nobody has ever complained that we are reusing our decorations from to say three years ago. Um, and then just moving over this way, uh, those are stockings for the family. So um, from there, from left to, to right, or right to left, whichever one. Um, so we got those stockings still at Salvation Ami, and if you can see, if I can zoom in here, see the, the names that you have on there. Um, those names are actually, um, I did the names because we have the tools here at home to actually decorate uh, stuff like this. So we just cut them out and, um, and heat press them um, on the stockings, which is kind of cool. So those are, I think those were a dollar a piece. And then it probably cost me like 50 cents for the vinyl to do the decoration. So uh, if you say those would be a dollar fifty a piece and we, we'll have them for ever. They're gonna be they're gonna be here forever because they're not we don't it's just you take them out during um, Christmas and put them away secure after Christmas so that's it so I'm gonna show I want to show you guys one one thing here so if you look at that entertainment set right there you see that the whole big entertainment set um, we got this for free you're probably looking like that's expensive no um, so the story behind it is that we had a friend that was like um, whose mom bought a new house. And so she was gonna like demo the, the, the entire house or the inside um, and redesign it. And this uh, entertainment set was there and she didn't want it. And she was gonna pay people to come get it out. So I'm like, hey, you don't need to pay me. I'll come get it for free. So we went there out there with my wife. We you know, took it down, brought it here and um, fixed it up and repainted it and today that's what it looks like it looks expensive but that's absolutely 
Um, well, we probably spend like three or four bucks on paint. That's about it. So definitely not free, but you spend some money on paint. And now let's move over to our Christmas tree. Um, we've had this Christmas tree now for six years and counting. And this is our, you know, what people call our, an artificial Christmas tree. Um, I don't think that buying or chopping down trees every Christmas is, is a smart idea. First, it's expensive. You know, you spend on a $60, $70 um, on a tree and then after Christmas you throw it away. So I, I don't think that works. So we bought this for, I think it was like 15 bucks on sale after Christmas because hey, if you're shopping for Christmas stuff, the best time to buy is after Christmas. That's where you get the best deals. So we went out and got this, I think it's like 15 bucks and, and so we've had it now for six plus years. Um, we take it out every Christmas. Again, like I said, we have these uh, storage containers. We just put it in the storage containers and, and uh, use duct tape, secure it, and it stays there until December, we pull them out. Um, and the good thing about this one is like, it's got lights that are built in. So if I can get, you know, get closer, if you can see right here, these, all these, these lights are actually built-in lights, so um, right there. So you don't have to do anything. All you have to do is just take your tree out, just stand it up and plug it in, and it's ready to go. And then all the ornaments, um, the ornaments, my wife has just been like over the years collecting and buying them on sale when she sees them. And so that's what you see um, as far as the, the ornaments on the, on, on the Christmas tree. So there is our uh, Christmas tree. Um, again, I believe in experiences more so than spending money on, on stuff. So, so I'm going to move over to the other room and uh, I'm going to show you guys what we have over there. So, this is kind of like our, is it like our a dining table area? Uh, I want to show you guys this real quick. Uh, so, this is a this is kind of a, a bench that we actually built. And so, if you see, it goes all the way back that way. Um, so we had issues with uh, the number of chairs that we can actually put on our on our table here, and so we decided to uh, build a bench with two little boys running around and trying to do a construction project. Guys, I would not advise you to try to do that. Um, it's a really really difficult task. So um, the project that would have taken us maybe two or three hours um, ended up taking us like a whole week because uh, we have our little boys running up and down and you don't want them to get hurt when you do it. Um, then our, our table here, um, if you can see the top here, uh, this is a good table, the top is granite. Um, we got this table for $100. Um, there was a couple that uh, were moving from their town home and they didn't need the table. So they posted it on Craigslist and we saw it, uh, I think it was like seven years ago. We saw it and uh, went and, and picked it up for a for hundred bucks. That thing is not going anywhere anytime soon. I mean, like I said, it's granite, which is, which is awesome. So moving over here, um, this is still some of my wife's decorations. Um, so like I said, she, she just buys this stuff over the years and um, and so like a picture like this, she would print out all these different uh, p uh, different decorations or different pictures or different signs or saying every Christmas and put something new in there. Um, just to kind of make it look nice nice and neat. So uh, there's still part of the decorations. Um, that's her piano she got on Craigslist as well. She's now teaching the boys and how to play that. Um, and then just uh, along, this, along the stairs here, uh, this is where we have some some Christmas Christmas light and see some of the decorations uh, Again, all this stuff is we've had them for like five or six years at least and so we just keep you We just keep reusing them and we're not spending any money um, And then if you look at it by the door there's a riff hanging out outside the same concept you buy after Christmas and you can reuse it for as long as you for as long as you you leave because I mean we don't spend money on actual stuff and then um, this is some of the some of the other stuff that my wife got I think she got this as a gift um, so we just put it here and I'm surprised that these things have been sitting out here for like two weeks and none of none of these decorations like none of it is broken yet because uh, the boys <laughs> didn't know how to break stuff and so far not a single one um, has been touched which is awesome 
so that's about it for our Christmas decoration um, I know this is not enough but I mean for some people they want to put a ton of stuff um, as far as decorations in the house um, we don't I mean hanging on to all that stuff is something that I don't enjoy so we have the minimum that we need uh, and we just reuse it over the years. So there you go guys. That's us. That's um, our Christmas decoration That's a uh, in our living uh, free and frugal uh, Christmas edition. That's the way we decorate our house again Like I said, I know it's not a whole lot of decoration, but it works for us We can we want to do more experiences as opposed to uh, Material things hanging around like share subscribe and as always stay motivated